Hi and welcome back to Purple Color Life. In today's video we're making a video I've wanted to make for a while after a detailed, pretty scientific test about using the ethanol gas, so the uh, E85, 85% ethanol versus regular unleaded gasoline with between 10 and 15% ethanol. Now as we know that E85 is cheaper by the gallon, but I found it gets worse fuel mileage. So is it really cheaper? So I finally had an opportunity to do the test I always wanted to do, comparing the ethanol fuel, that E85, to regular unleaded, again, with 10 to 15% ethanol in the fuel. Wait, is that what I call corn gas? It's what you call corn gas. Mm -hmm. And this vehicle, this 2009 Ford Expedition with the 5.4 V8 Triton engine, is corn gas capable. And it's my favorite vehicle of my entire life, ever. Yes. This vehicle. It's going, I've decided it's going to live forever as my daily driver. And that brings up another point. This vehicle has 165-ish thousand miles on it. Um, actually, before we started our trip, it had 166,419.7 miles. I did a full service on it, replaced all the oil with the good AMS oil, quality oil. Um, so I wanted to make sure it would be ready for our long trip to Tennessee. And what I did was I decided on our way down to Tennessee, I would use only the flex fuel. So that's the E85 corn-based fuel. Um, and we use that the whole way down to Tennessee from Northwest Pennsylvania. Then on the way home, we use the regular unleaded 10 to 15% ethanol that's in every single pump when you get regular unleaded. We use that on the whole trip home from Tennessee. So I know it's gonna be a little bit of an unfair comparison because it's not the exact same trip the exact same direction. We are moving from north to south in one and south to north in the other, but it is the same distance both to and from Tennessee from Northwest Pennsylvania. So when you are putting the corn gas in my vehicle, do you do like I do? And do you actually imagine yourself like corn kernels coming out of the gas pump into no. the car? No, but you do notice a different smell. I don't, the I don't have a very good sense of smell. Oh. It does not smell like traditional gasoline. I feel like I giggle on the inside every time I put the corn gas in. I giggle on the inside because it's less expensive. <laughs> so when I see the price at the pump and I see yeah. the E85 is considerably less expensive, that's what makes me happy to put it in the tank. But I know from experience with this vehicle, that you don't get the same mileage with the E85 gas as you do with the regular unleaded. So we're used to, with regular unleaded in this vehicle on highway travel, getting about 16 miles to the gallon. That's pretty much what we average on a highway drive. Now, rural roads drive, you're not gonna get that same mileage. Like when Jennifer goes to and from school, she might be a little heavy on the pedal or something, but she only gets like 14 or 15 miles to the gallon. That's funny. You tell me all the time I'm a slow driver, and then you say I'm heavy on the pedal. You're heavy on both pedals. <laughs> so another thing that people ask about is why would we take a vehicle on our family vacation that has 165,000 miles on it and a big V8 engine? And there's a couple reasons for this. 
This is the most comfortable vehicle that we have. This is the most, let's say, plush vehicle that we have. It has air-conditioned seats, heated seats. It's got three different zones for the temperature control. You've got the driver, the passenger, and the rear end. It is a third row seat that we rarely use, but we have it in case we need it. And in this situation, we were going for a week, so we had a lot of stuff for four adults to take with us, including food and pots and pans and stuff like that for the Airbnb. So we needed all the space in addition to the space for people. And growing up, to me, I've always bought my vehicles between 75,000 to 100,000 miles. So 160,000 miles, I start to get a little bit nervous, but I try to tell myself we take care of them right. and we're just breaking her in. Yeah, I think there's a lot of life left in this vehicle. I sure hope so. There's a slight chance of rain tonight and it's raining, so we're gonna make this pretty short. On, I kept all my notes for on the trip down, so we, did. we left the house on July 4th uh, at home, we had 166,419.7 miles on this, and we stopped at the gas station in Barkyville, Pennsylvania, where there is a speedway that carries the E85 flex fuel gasoline. So we filled up there, um, we put 20.26 gallons in, and it cost us $2.55 a gallon, so quite a bit less than the price of regular unleaded gasoline. Um, we spent a total of $50.89 on that fill up. Then, July 5th, a couple hours later, we stopped to get fuel again. We were just stopping for a bathroom break, but this gas station happened to have the flex fuel, so I thought, good opportunity to fill it back up. We put another 12.6 gallons into the flex fuel. Then the next day, after we slept overnight at the hotel, we got up the next morning, needed fuel again, put 23.66 gallons of the flex fuel in, that cost us three dollars and nineteen cents in that location. I think that was in Kentucky. What is this thing? A gas hog or something? It's a gas guzzler, <laughs> but it's a nice, comfortable ride. So on the ride down, we totaled uh, with the flex fuel fifty-six point five two gallons used, and about eight hundred and five miles for an average of fourteen point two four miles per gallon. So that was an indicator to me. You know, I knew we got less fuel mileage when we we're using the flex fuel than with the regular unleaded but i wasn't sure what the total spend would be on the trip down versus the trip back see me when i'm driving it i like to just not think about the the miles per gallon you yeah. know i like to just think about the comfort and how i love it not really think about the financial part of it yes i think about the financial part of it well, do you pay for gas or I, something i pay for all the gas <laughs> yeah so then we spent some time in Tennessee. Um, got let the gas tank get down low, so we are mostly out of that flex fuel. And at Thursday morning, while we were in Tennessee, we filled up with um, regular gasoline. So then on Saturday, we left for home and our mileage was 167, 309 miles. Stopped for gas, that was 824 in the morning, by the way, we left for home. We had to stop for gas at 1127 in the morning and that gasoline regular unleaded cost us 329. Then we stopped Saturday evening at five o'clock after driving all day for more gasoline that cost us 329. And then on Sunday morning, we drove home the rest of the way, filled up with gasoline for $3.14, and got home with 167,931 miles and seven tenths. So on the way home, the trip was just short of 800 miles. Uh, we put some miles on in Tennessee while we were there. So the way home was just short of 800 miles, and we averaged, drum roll, more than 14. 16.96 miles Ooh, per gallon. Look at that. With the regular That's unleaded gasoline. That's like a great environmentally friendly number right there. Yes. From 14 to 16. 16.96, so Whoa, almost 17 almost. miles per gallon. Let's just call it 17. Yeah. So our fuel cost on the 1,512 mile round trip um, averaged out to be... Okay, so what were the totals? We got... 
less miles per gallon with the ethanol gas on the corn gas e85 and we've got more on the more expensive gas but how did it end up coming up numbers wise so the e85 that we got 14.24 miles per gallon we spent 144 dollars on the fuel that's not horrible for a whole trip down to tennessee on the way home at 16.96 miles per gallon we spent $130.87. Wait, what was the first number? 144. So we learned that even though it puts a smile on your face to spend a little bit less per gallon for the flex fuel, overall, in this vehicle at least, it's better off to get the regular unleaded because you're gonna get a higher mile per gallon and the, the cost differential at the pricing that we found while we were driving, it was actually cheaper to drive on the regular unleaded and get more miles per gallon than to spend a little bit less but get less miles per gallon. So that's the test I've wanted to do for a long time, was figure out is it really saving money to spend less per gallon on the ethanol fuel? And maybe in some newer vehicles it is, but in this big old V8 with the 5.4 liter engine and 166,000 miles on it, you're better off putting the regular gasoline in it. And I do have one other note I wanna add. So one other thing I wanted to note, uh, before we made this trip, I also got from Amsoil some fuel additive. We've been having a knocking issue with this engine for quite a few years now, probably two years, maybe longer. And what happens is if you pull up to an ATM or the drive-through at the bank or the drive-through at McDonald's, when you're at an idle in gear, it starts to really knock. And Jennifer doesn't like the sound it makes. She said it sounds pretty rough. Um, as soon as you push the gas pedal, it gets out of that knocking like when you're accelerating and driving you don't notice it it sounds like a clunker it like does. they're going to come for like cash for clunkers and they're going to say they want my vehicle yeah it does sound like a clunker it does that for some reason um it hasn't ever been anything where it's stalled out on us or broken down so we haven't much worried about it we do have a slight tick from an exhaust manifold leak in the engine but this is unrelated to that so what i bought from amsoil was some uh, additive that also included upper cylinder lubricant and the reason I wanted to put that in is because I thought maybe that would help lubricate if you look at the data sheet for the product that I'm going to put a picture of here in the video it says that it lubricates the fuel pump it lubricates the fuel injectors these fuel injectors are pretty old they may have need some needed some lubrication so with every fill up with both ty types of fuel we put a bottle of that with the upper cylinder lubricant in the tank and I actually noticed that I didn't, I didn't notice that sound anymore when we were at an idle. And I think our mileage was a little bit better. So usually I'm used to getting 16 and a half miles per gallon on the highway. You saw in this test, we got 16.97. Expedition. So after our 1500 mile trip and our little science experiment of using the E85 versus the regular unleaded fuel, it was a great vacation to Tennessee and back. <laughs> car was the car didn't let us down 166,000 plus miles on it now uh, didn't have any hiccups or problems along the way and it was a good vehicle to take on a vacation absolutely favorite vehicle ever favorite vehicle ever last forever it'll last forever i've said several times to jennifer that i prefer this older expedition over the new ones because i worry about the twin turbo v6 in the big vehicle of uh, the of the expedition today so i'm going to try to keep this one running as long as possible because a one like this that has all these features would be crazy expensive today. Probably more than yeah, $85,000. People, people would be really surprised what I paid for this. People would be really surprised what you paid for this. Mm -hmm. So this used Ford Expedition, worth every penny. We, we certainly got our money's worth out of it. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative and entertaining, please give us a big thumbs up down below. Leave a comment. Did you think the results would turn out as they did with the cheaper fuel ending up costing us more because we got way less miles per gallon? Or did you think that it was gonna cost us less? Or they could leave a comment if they have a similar expedition with lower miles that you're looking to get rid of. <laughs> that has to be with a V8 engine. V8 engine and plushy. Plushy. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again the next time.